Hi, welcome back to the Spirit's Path. This is Dee, and today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is Nine of Arrows, Dedication. And, um, you know, if you look really closely on that, you know, this this gal, this uh, woman in the Wildwood Tarot Forest, she is so dedicated to, you know, playing that, playing that bow, she's got all the other arrows dancing around her. You know, and the skill set that she has, um, you know, it's, it takes a lot of dedication. A lot of dedication to, you know, make uh, things do the way you want them to do, whether that's, uh, you know, molding clay or uh, art form or you know, drawing or anything like that, okay? And, you know, and, you know, she's good at, you know, making the arrows dance. You know, she likes playing that music for that arrow. So, you know, this card is all about... You know the dedication of yourself to a greater good and um you know we started off the week with the uh the knight of bows you know the fox that creative energy um you know that's on that quest you know for action right and then we you know follow that up with the knight of stones you know where it's it's a quest of materialism and you know when you think about both of those cards together all right, the action and the materialism, you know, to start that quest to find something that you want to do, you have to become dedicated to that goal. Dedicated to whatever it is the pursuit on your quest is. You know, and maybe you've made some check marks along the way um, and, you know, some miniature goals to get there. All right, but you still have to be dedicated to what you're doing. It's no different than your job. You know, yeah, it's mundane to get up every morning, have to go to work, have to do the same thing, this, that, and the other thing. But if you're dedicated in what you do, you are very good at what you do, okay? And, you know, that's really toward the greater good with everything because people recognize that. And with that, you know, greater good, you know, becomes respect and opportunities to, to grow and, you know, do other things. The key here is self-discipline. Self-discipline, hard work, and sincerity are the traits of being dedicated to any skill, spiritual belief, or philosophy. And, you know, if you think about it, you know, triathletes, they're skillful in three different sports, but they have to be self-disciplined in all three of those sports, swimming, biking, and running. They have to train in all of those in increments, you know, and that takes a lot of hard work. You know, and there are days I'm sure that, you know, triathletes don't want to go out and run or don't want to go out and bike or don't want to go out and swim. All right, but they have to be sincere in that to say, you know what, I need to be dedicated in my training, be sincere in it, give it my all, all right, because I know, you know, this is something that I want to, I want to pursue. Same thing with a spiritual belief, you know, or a philosophy. To really understand it, you have to get self-discipline in it. You know, those that study religion, you know, whether they're reading the Bible or the Koran or whatever, they're studying it. They self-discipline, a chapter a day, a chapter a night, whatever it is, all right? And they become learned around all that. You know, it's, it's no different than any other skill set or craft. Those that hear the universal call, you know, that, of the music that she's playing, you know, become the spiritual warriors and protectors of Gaia. And, uh, you know, during these, during these days of the COVID virus and... Um, you know, all the, uh, during the time of this COVID, COVID crisis and all the unrest, all right, it's good that we can, you know, look back at, at how strong we become, all right? And, you know, myself, I'm dedicated to being healthy. And, you know, I'm dedicated to wearing my mask at work. I'm dedicated to giving people six feet space. There are others that don't want to do that, all right? And to me, that is just... You know, they don't understand, you know, how to keep themselves safe. And that could be an immaturity thing. That can be an ignorance thing. But, you know, I know for me, you know, I'm doing what I need to do. I need to be self-disciplined and dedicated in keeping myself, keep myself safe. Um, you know, another good aspect of this is teaching by example, leading others to respect the beliefs and philosophies that you have. Not letting them walk over that, but, you know, give them some education around this. You know, play that, play that bow, you know, with that arrow and, you know, give them the, you know, the opportunity to hear the music, you know, that she's playing. All right. So you can become dedicated in your, you know, in maybe a different skill set. You can use this also in a relationship, right? Becoming more dedicated to the person that you're with. 
okay, or more dedicated to the, you know, to the friends that you're with. Um, you know, some of the daily rituals that we go through, I know for myself, you know, when I wake up, I try to meditate, you know, take a couple, two or three deep breaths and, um, you know, go through a self check, you know, how am I today? Um, you know, I know on a weekend, you know, I got a ritual of how I clean the house. That's a dedication. All right. A de dedication of making sure that my house stays clean. All right. That, you know, I'm germ free, COVID free, you know, for everybody that walks into, into the house. And um, when you do something like that, you make a difference, all right? You make a difference in your house. You make a difference in your attitude. You make a difference in how you uh, talk with others, all right? And you dedicate yourself to the cause, to the cause of keeping the house clean or to the cause of, you know, staying self-disciplined and following, you know, whatever you have to follow, you know, at work to get that, get that done, you know, that job done. You know, dedication you know, leads to pride and pride, you know, there are a lot of people out there to take pride in their job. That's because they've got that self-discipline, they're dedicated to what they do, they put in the hard work and then sincere at what they do. So that's the message for the day. Nine of, uh, nine of barrels, dedication. Um, you know, leave your comments down below, hit that like button for me, hit that share button for me. Um, you know, or share it with others, subscribe as well. And uh, this is D for Spirits Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, stay safe, and God bless everybody.